research assistant on uh, industrial placement for my undergraduate music technology degree. So this afternoon I'm going to briefly talk about the centre, uh, talk about some of our research and show you a few demonstrations that hopefully you think are quite cool. So uh, the Centre for Digital Music or C4DM uh, for sure was founded in 2001. It has around 60 full-time members, uh, 12 academic staff, 14 research staff, 30 plus research students and a handful of visitors. So the main focus is digital music, digital audio, uh, analysis, modelling, processing, semantics and interaction. So here are some of our academic staff. You may see a few of them here today. Um, so there are four main areas, which are music informatics run by Simon Dixon, interaction of sound and music with Nick Brian Kins, machine learning with uh, Professor Mark Dumley and audio engineering, where I fit in with Josh Rice. So here are the main, uh, four main areas. So music informatic covers music information retrieval, automatic music transcription, semantic analysis and segmentation. Uh, interactional sound and music covers real-time interactive systems, spatialized sound composition, interactive soundscapes, collaborative music making, automated composition and data sonification. Machine listening is independent component analysis, sparse coding, source separation, and music information dynamics. And last is audio engineering with digital audio effects, automatic mixing, A to D, D to A converters, spatial audio, and intelligent systems for sound mixing. So since autumn 2011, uh, the research group has expanded uh, with a lot more interest in research areas such as mathematical and comput computational modelling, augmented acoustic instruments, computational creativity, and music perception and cognition. So obviously as a research group we need funding. Our main research uh, money comes from EPSRC, the Engineering and Physical Sciences Research Council. So industry collaboration is very important. Um, through a scheme called Impact QM, it's getting the research outside of the uni and into the industry. So some of our most recent partners here are Last FM, F Expansion, Yamaha, and we've also started a new audio research partnership with BBC R&D, along with Southampton, Salford, Surrey and York University. So here are some of the software and patents that have been developed. Uh, most of the software is open source, so it's readily available for research purposes, such as Sonic Visual, which is a software application that allows you to view and analyse music audio files. Um, our patents are important as well, because if there's a piece of research that is key for industry technology, then, yeah, <laughs> so that's important, such as the anti-feedback device and beat tracking. So, the first demonstration I'm going to show you is in the field of automatic mixing. This is a project I've been working on, uh, on autonomous fader control, with the main developer, Stuart Mansbridge, and my supervisor, Josh D. Reese. So in this demonstration, you're going to see the automatic fader VST. You're going to hear an unmixed piece of audio, and then you're gonna hopefully hear the difference as the preamps and the faders are turned on. Then you will hear an A to B comparison of the auto mix and the unmixed. So I'll just play this for you.
So this was first developed as a proof of concept, but now is being developed as an industry tool, which is pretty exciting. So. So the next demonstration I'm going to show you is about comb filter reduction, which has been developed by Alice Clifford. So you're going to hear um, a single sound, a single source, recorded by two microphones, and you're going to hear comb filtering uh, caused by the delay between these microphones. Then the software is going to use delay compensation to hopefully reduce this comb filtering effect, and then you're going to hear like before, an A to B comparison.
Okay, I'm going to show you one last thing. A beekeeper. So the guy who developed that is sitting right there. Uh, so basically, it's a drum tracker, which enables Ableton Live to follow the drummer. <laughs> so the video I'm going to show you is a drummer playing with a robot glockenspiel. Thank you for listening. Sasha, thanks very much. Round of applause, please.